Hello, welcome to Thursday's maths lesson. For today's lesson, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil, your box or container and 10 items of food. Now we're going to start this lesson today by looking at some of your subtraction pictures. Have a look now and I want you to think of a story that you could tell your grown up about what you see. So let's have a look at these together then. In the first picture, you can see there are 10 items of food and the seagull has taken one away. The seagull has subtracted one, which makes nine. I wonder, did Mr. Grinlin have nine items of food left in his picnic basket? And in the second picture, I can see that there are seven items of food and the seagull again took one away. I can see that because they've crossed that first picture out and that leaves us with six. So I think Mr Grinlin had six items left in his packed lunchbox that day. Now today we're going to be telling stories about what we see and we're also going to be practicing what we've been doing over the last three days. So on the next slide you will see lots of different uh, pictures and I would like you to work through them with your adult and see if you can work out the story, the number sentence and the picture. Let's go through the answers together. Now in the first picture you can see a number line and I've circled the number 8 in blue and I've also circled another number 3. Now that's telling me that Mrs Grinlin packed 8 items to start with and you can see how I've counted back to arrive at the number 3. So I wonder how many items did the seagull take? We started on 8 but we ended on three, so let's count back together. So we started on eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I think the seagulls took five items. Did you get that right? Let's have a look at our second picture now. Now this one is of our 10 frame and I can see that there are six dots. So I think Mrs Grinlin packed six items in her basket that day. And I can also see that two items are crossed out. So did you get four left for Mr Grinlin? Super. Now on our third picture, we have got the basket and it shows that Mrs Grinlin packed eight items in her basket that day. How many did you think were crossed out? How many did you think the seagulls were taking? That's right, four. So eight, take away or subtract four, is four. Great. Now let's do our last two together. So on our next one, you can see that it's a word problem. You can see that Mrs Grinlin packed seven items and took five. So have you shown me in pictures or as a number sentence what has happened? So seven take away five equals two. And in our last picture, uh, it's a picture of a it's a picture of a number sentence and I've asked you to describe what has happened. So four take away three equals one. Did Mrs Grinlin pack four items? And how many did the seagull take? The seagull took three and that then leaves one. Great work today. Please can you upload photos or videos of what you have done in this lesson to Tapestry. See you again soon.